So learning for sustainability has very much became part of our way of life in Dumblain. So it's embedded within our curriculum, but also just as a whole school approach, you know, and everything that we do, whether that be in terms of our use of resources, using resources that are more sustainable and better for the environment, or whether that's experiences our children are getting every day um, through outdoor learning and really making a difference to our community and our school um, through using their voices. For me as a teacher, the most important thing is raising their awareness of these issues, but giving them the opportunity to take action and feel empowered um, and shaping a sustainable future. We had our intent and then we took our action and then now it's just a way of life for us. LFS is indeed just the way of life here. So we were learning about children's rights and the reason why we're learning about children's rights is to make sure everyone knows that they have a voice to speak up and tell everyone their ideas and if they don't have that voice then they can't share their ideas and then maybe their idea might actually end up changing the world. What we really wanted to do was establish sort of the ethos in the school and we did that through the visions and the values and you can see that yeah. th throughout the school really. And when I started to get to know the teachers better, obviously I realised that we had a, a brilliant staff here in the school who were capable and confident and willing to take on board new things. And then of course, when I had discussions with Jennifer, it was very clear that she had a massive passion for LFS, which inevitably was feeding into the rest of the school. And she was leading LFS already. The sustainable development goals have very much became part of our learning um, and back in 2019 I looked at how we can embed the SDGs across our learning so they seemed like a fantastic framework for us to be able to connect with global issues, our learners to take action on global issues and raise our awareness of different global issues. So we've got a partner school in India and we want to um, make sure that there's also there's loads of gender equality and, and in all the countries in the world and we've been learning a little bit about women in STEM and we want to make sure that there's an, an equal amount of women and, me, and men in working in STEM and careers. Our Connecting Classrooms partnership has been such a rich partnership for learners. We've connected with a school in India, so in Chennai, India, and um, it's been a fantastic way for our learners to connect with children in Chennai and share their learning. Well, Tony with India was a really good plan because um, we are starting to learn about India so that we can, like, we really know about them when, like, we radio call them because we have been video called them, but we thought video called like the class, we only video called the teacher, and we sent letters to them, and I hope that they will send a letter back, and it's about like a favourite animal, and do we have pets, and like it's just really fun to know about India because it's a nice place in India. We see that every day with the children here, where they are enabled to do something because of the way that we approach LFS across our curriculum, because it is so inclusive. Through restrictions, we spent a lot more time outdoors, and we had to really be quite creative in terms of how we were learning outdoors. So we're using lots of different resources outside, using natural resources like leaves and sticks. And um, you know that was a, a brilliant way for us to really develop our confidence as teachers and seeing the impact on the children and seeing how much they enjoyed those experiences as well. Well, we have these planters outside and we grow wheat, tomatoes, peppers and strawberries and we are going to use them to make school dinners and how we water them is that we collect the, ra the rainwater because that's actually better for our plants than tap water. And they go into this big bucket and we fill them up into these watering cans and then that's how we water them. Children as well are spending lots of time outdoors and really developing their connection to nature. So we spend time in the forest, we read books in the forest and that happened from kind of nursery level right up to primary seven. And then um, when I graduated, I was really keen to think about how I could really try and 
transform learning within my own class in terms of making links to learning for sustainability. So then I then decided to do my master's at Edinburgh Uni and um, I explored through that master's it was focusing on learning for sustainability. And during that experience, I really learned about sustainability from not just the environmental side of things, but from the social and kind of economic side of things. And then was introduced to sustainable development goals. And now they have became very much part of what I do every day in class and frame of learning that, we, that I do in class, but also within our school. Because, you know, our children have such a voice here in Dunblane. And, you know, things like, we laugh about it often, but the kids come with business plans for projects. But they've got to do that. So, you know, if I looked at it from the corporate hat on, it's all about building skills for life and work and all the rest of it. But actually, the fact that they feel they can make change through a process and they know they've got to engage with a process and to make the change, I think we've really enabled them really, really well here. Um, and it was like the, the Tesco thing was just a huge celebration for our children that they managed to have system change made because of actions they had taken locally. So not only was there a local change, there's now a national change for them, which is amazing. Um, so for me, looking forward, you know, they talk about um, planting the trees that you'll never see grow. For me, that's really important. And that's a highlight for me that we're making these children feel that they can actually make changes.